Hey guys, in this video we'll be setting up an Angular dev environment. I'll be going through the steps in this blog post that I'll link to in the video description. I'm working on a, a new Windows virtual machine here, a Windows 10 box, so uh, we'll be setting up everything from scratch. Uh, these are the steps that we'll be going through. So first installing Node.js and NPM, which is the JavaScript runtime that our uh, application will be running on and gets built with and npm which is the node package manager the angular cli which is a command line utility that helps us with uh, working with and developing angular applications the git cli which we use to clone and uh, work with git repos uh, the, v the visual studio code or vs code code editor which uh, is used to edit the actual angular code and the fifth step is uh, to run an example Angular application, which is an optional step that we'll be going through in this video to test that everything works correctly. Okay, jumping straight in. First step is to install Node.js and NPM. So I'll go to nodejs.org and download Node.js by clicking this link. And I'll run that installer once it's downloaded. Okay, I'll uh, leave all of the options as default for installing Node.js. Node comes bundled with NPM, so you get both of those tools together. Once that's finished, I'll click the Finish button and I'll bring up a command window. And to check that it has installed correctly, you can type node minus v, I think it is. It gives me the node version and npm minus v will tell us the npm version so that means they both have installed correctly I'll just pin that to the taskbar to make it easy to open later I'll close that command window we're done installing node and let's move to the next step installing the angular CLI Okay, the Angular CLI uh, is a npm package itself, so the way you install it is by running this command here, npm i, which is short for npm install, minus g installs it globally, and at angular means it's in the angular scope on, uh, on npm, and CLI is the name of the package within that angular scope, so npm i minus g at angular CLI, copy that command and bring up the command prompt again, paste that in there, and run that to install the Angular CLI globally. Okay, once the CLI is finished installing, we can check that it's installed correctly by running the command ng, and then passing the command dash dash version. And that should show us the Angular CLI version that we're running. Now if I close that again, um, and that just those instructions I'm testing there. We'll go to the next step, which is installing the Angular, uh, the Git CLI. So Git CLI is used for getting uh, code projects from uh, Git repos, uh, such as on GitHub. I'll jump over to the download page for downloading Git. Oh. No, that's actually the Git documentation link. I'll go to the correct one here. I'll click that link to download the Git CLI and run that once it's downloaded. And again, with this installer, I'll leave all of the default options selected. Okay, we can see that's installed correctly. I uh, don't need to see the release notes. I'll just click next and close that tab and I can't remember the command for testing this one. It's dash dash version here as well. Right, so if I open up a command line again and type the command git dash dash version, that tells us the git CLI version that we're running, which means it has installed correctly. All right, next, let's install our code editor, VS Code. Jump to code.visualstudio.com and download that here. Once that's downloaded, I'll run that installer. 
And this warning is just because I'm an admin of this machine and it's just confirming that I want to install uh, VS Code for just this user that I'm logged in as rather than the system rather than system wide. Because I'm an administrator, I would have access to use the system installer if I wanted to. Um, I'm happy to run the user installer, so I'm going to click OK. And again, just using all of the defaults. Okay, it's finished. I'll leave that box ticked so I can launch VS Code and confirm that it has installed correctly. There we can see our code editor has installed. I'll just pin that to the taskbar here and close that up. Don't need that tab anymore. Yeah, that step is done. And jumping to the final step, which is to run an example Angular application. So the example app is a user registration and login example that I built a little while ago. I won't go into the details of it in this video, it's just to demo that everything that we've installed is, uh, is running correctly and that you can run an Angular application and uh, open and view the code in VS Code. But if you want to access and uh, see all the details about the app that we're about to run, there's a link here in this post. So we'll follow these four steps to download and then uh, and then run the application. So I'll get the code by running git clone and copy that. So this is the URL to the repo on GitHub for the example project. I'll open up command window. I'll uh, just put it into the downloads directory for this example and run git clone. That will clone the code for us. And cd into the example project directory, run npm i or npm install to install all of the npm or node package dependencies. So if I jump back to the steps here, the second step is to cd into the project root folder and then run npm install. Yeah, after npm install has finished installing all of the package dependencies, we can run either npm start or npm ng serve dash dash open. So under the hood, npm start runs a script in the package JSON file, which actually just calls this command of the Angular CLI, which uh, builds and serves our Angular app and and passes the dash dash open, which automatically launches a browser and opens it. So I'll run npm start. You can see there that it has run ng serve dash dash open. Okay, that's done and it's launched our application. So you can see uh, it, this is our app running. It's a simple login and registration app. As I said, I won't go into the details of it, but uh, we can see that that has kicked off correctly and is up and running. I'll close that and just show you one more thing. I'll stop the application here by doing control C a couple of times. And then I'll just kick off VS Code um, with the example project in it. So you can either open it from the from the icon here, or you can type the code command and just pass in the directory that you want to open. So I want to open the current directory, so I'll just pass in a dot, hit enter and that will open up VS Code in the current directory. So you can see all of the Angular project files there. And if I was to drill down into the login component, so there is the login page that we could see um, when the app launched. All right, that is it. So those are all the steps that you need to follow to set up an Angular development environment and uh, download and run an example application to test that it's all working. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you did, please like or subscribe below. Cheers.